Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Richard Edwards. Today I'm in the southern tip of the Monferrato wine area of Piemonte and I'm close to a town called Vesime and I'm here to show you a great Langestone house. Now the house has been fully restored and it represents great value for money at only 325,000 euros and it's fully restored and it's a great little getaway. If you want a bit of peace and quiet, if you want to enjoy the beauty of this region, this house is probably perfect. We're we're right on the border of the Lange, just a few meters this way and you're into Lange and this is the Monferrato. So we have towns like uh, Alba, 45 minutes from here, Canelli is 20 minutes, we're 45 minutes from the Barolo area and you can reach the coast in an hour and 20 minutes from here. The nearest towns that are just five, six minutes away have places to eat, they have bars, stores, wineries and it's a great area for walking and cycling. So I think you're going to like this one. So let's not waste any more time. Let's do a tour of the house and then you can let me know in the comments below what you think of the place. Here's the, uh, the gateway entrance up there. And the house, and you can see here, there's plenty of room for parking. You could, uh, I'm certain you could put a swimming pool here, no problem at all. There wouldn't be a problem, I don't think, in getting permission for that. And it's very, very quiet. Very peaceful place. So we can take a walk down to the house. And here we go, here's the house. There's a little technical room there. Beautiful view. Uh, I was told off for using the word beautiful too much. I'll try not to say it, okay? But a wonderful view. We'll see more of that in a moment. And this lovely Langerstone house. This is the one we always get asked for, by the way. Everyone wants Langerstone, and so you have to come to these areas, to places like Vesimer, Santa Stefano Belbo. Here's the main entrance. We'll come back to there in a second. Uh, there's a neighboring property. There's a, there's a private house and this farm building here it looks like it's just empty probably for, for just for parking, but it's very quiet. And then we can come back round. Uh, just have a look at these uh, terraces here, these, these retaining walls, these Langer stone retaining walls. A lot of work gone into this place, I can promise you. It just needs your personal touch. So into the main entrance and we have here the kitchen. And you can see it's, uh, it's fitted with uh, marble worktops and there's a fridge in the cupboard there and a gas hob. And you can see it needs, uh, it needs some colors some paint. The owners have taken some things off the walls and uh, so the holes need filling in and resetting, but uh, nothing serious, just cosmetic things. And to the rear of this, we have a little WC, which just has a, a toilet and a bidet, and a hand basin, there you go. And then we come out of there, and if we go across to the right of the entrance way, we have the stairs which goes down to the, the lower level. We'll, we'll come to that in a moment. And then we come into this cute little bedroom. And uh, I can tell you it's very warm out again today, but here it's very nice. It's really nice and cool inside the house. It has these big fitted wardrobes. Low door space, so if you're seven foot tall, it might not be ideal, <laughs> but uh, a nice space polished concrete floors and it comes out onto this lovely little terrace. You can see things are quite un uh, overgrown here. The owners have not been here for some months. Uh, they live in Milan and they've not been able to uh, really take care of the property but we we'll promise we'll get them to get the gardener in to get it all back to how it should be. 
and there are really are beautiful views here, beautiful views onto the valley, the Belbo Valley, and you've got vineyards directly below and fields. This area is all uh, woodlands, hazelnut orchards, and vineyards. And there's a neighbor's house. Now let's go back into the house. And we'll go back through into the kitchen. It's gas central heating, by the way. And to the rear of the kitchen is another room. A cute little room. It has an open fire, views onto the land. All very nice. And actually a, a really quite picturesque, <laughs> beautiful view from this window. It's really very nice looking down the valley. And then you have access to this little terrace again that we just walked on. There you go. So now what we want to do is go down the stairs to the lower level. It's tempting to call it a basement. Uh, let me just uh, bring the camera down there so you can see the stairs. It's tempting to call it a basement, but it's not really. It's just that the, the house is on a hill. Uh, and so this is just the lower level. To the left, we have the bathroom. This has a toilet, bidet, hand basin, and a bathtub shower behind the door here. And then if we come round, we come to this covered terrace, which is actually a very nice space. We have another room there, we'll come to that in a moment. And uh, really nice and cool here on this hot day. Big vineyard below us there and surrounded by a Langer stone. There really has been a lot of work gone into the restoration here. It, it just needs finishing works. It needs your personal touch. And we come into the stairway again. There is to our right. And then we go a couple of stairs down and we've got a sauna. How about that? Very, very nice Langerstone ceilings. You can see here these arches. It's all very beautiful. And we have this room here. It seems it's been used for wine storage at the moment. But it could be a nice dining room. And this has access to that little uncovered portico we were just in just now. And then through here, it's just a little corridor that goes to the retaining wall behind the house. And then we have access to the garden. So here we have a view onto the land. I'll put the measurements here on the screen in meters and imperial so you can clearly understand what's included. And it has all kinds of trees, uh, fields. olives as we saw at the beginning. I believe uh, peach trees it has here as well and there's a little town just below. It really is a very tranquil place if you're if you're looking for peace and quiet uh, it's a great place. So 
Let's just go down a little bit and I'll show you the house from behind. So there's a house from behind, but from the drone shots, you'll see more. There's a little covered portico there. There's plenty of space for parking, no problem at all. The road is very quiet. We've been here a couple of hours so far and we've seen one car go past. So back inside the house and that's about it. It's, uh, it's not a big house. I hope I didn't say that it's a big house. I think I said it was a small house, uh, but easy manageable if you just want a little retreat or you want a simple rental. This one again would always make a nice rental. Um, if you've got couples or a small family that want to rent the place, uh, it could be ideal. Uh, we've got property management companies that can care for it for you. Look after everything from the bookings to the cleaning. So that's the house, what did you think? If you want not such a big space, but nice garden and a nice peaceful location, this could be perfect for you. As I said at the beginning, it's very close to local towns. You've got Chesole and Vesemir within five, six minutes, and then bigger towns, 20 minutes or more. The house represents great value for money because you, you can buy cheap houses here that need restoring, but do you really want to spend two, three years restoring something when this is almost a turnkey property. You can see it does need some TLC. It does need the garden looking after, but it's a simple property. It's Langer stone. It's been restored well, and it has great potential without too much work. So more information on my website, there's a link below. And by all means, get in touch. If you want more information, drop me an email and we'll get you as much information as we can to help you make a decision. And of course, if you want to see the property, if you're serious, drop us a line and we can set that up for you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the likes and subscribes I've been getting. We really appreciate that. So if you like this video, please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, the next house is going to be something quite fantastic as well, because you know that's what I love. So look out for the next video. See you in the next one.